Hey guys, we're getting close to the area where we wanted to climb up to and we were hoping to get some evidence where Sasquatch might be living and we came across these trees. These trees are bent out by the roots. Now you can hear in the background there's a small creek running by so this would make sense. This is only a few hundred yards up the hill from where the rock is. And these trees have been pushed down across these other trees. And you can see how they're intertwined, like in a crazy way. Like it's almost impossible for things to fall that way, to go one over another, twist on another. It's like they've been bent and pushed together. Like, could this be a possible shelter? It's fairly high up in the tree. I want to say that's about 12 feet up where that is. Because it's on a hillside. But these other two trees perfectly pushed in to create almost like a teepee top. Crazy. We're going to go a little bit farther. See if we can see some more. All right, we're almost at the top. You can see a flat right up there. That's what we want to explore. I mean, that's the kind of the best spot where we think that they might exist. Um, like I said, only a few hundred yards above the, uh, the rock. And right before we got to the top here, guys, take a look at this. This is a path, a trail. Something goes up and down right here to that flat. Like I said, we're almost right there to the top. We want to see if we can find any kind of evidence up there. But that's where they might be living. All right. Just getting up to the top now. sort of a little flat area where if I was living on two feet I would want to be up in this kind of area here look at all these fallen trees what's that Ben? holy shit look at that Ben holy crap guys that does not happen like that in nature. Holy shit, I'm gonna walk up here and let's uh let's take a look. That is like somebody or something purposely grabbed that and bent it to the ground. And you can see some like abrasions on the side where some bark has been removed, but it's nothing sharp it's almost like a, a hand or something like look at this guys look at this could it be a bear no baby I, I mean there's no scratch marks it's more like a sort of a hand was hanging on to it and and bending it down i mean you guys can see this little tree behind it it's not heavy enough that if it fell, it could hold this thing down. Let me work my way up in here, falling down. Like literally, something bent this over. And use that little tree to kind of wedge it into the ground because like I said the weight of that little guy could not have done this and there's some kind of like I said there's no there's no scratch marks it's just like you know you'd be hanging on to it and, and the bark would sort of come off like 
there's nothing this is amazing guys this is the kind of stuff i seen on the internet that people were talking about the kind of bending or flexing of the trees that sasquatch would do Oh, I think she's found another one. Stay tuned, guys. Subscribe. Hit the notification because we're going to continue this investigation while we're here. And hopefully we can give you some more evidence. This is insane. I love this. This is a crazy bend that just should not happen.